Hi, good afternoon. My name is Cozy Roberson, and I'm. My name is Cozy Roberson. I was born in Seattle, and I have roots from the Philippines, Mexico, and the Lummi tribe. National Middle School, who are part of the Jack Straw Immigration Court Search Project. First, we had an introduction to Jack Straw Immigration Court Search Project. Then, we were put into groups of four and assigned a specific Spanish speaking immigrant to interview. Then, we did some research on the current country of origin and need for some consulting. Then, after we did research, uh, each group was assigned a day to go into a quiet room at Denny and to start their interviews with their interviewees and technicians from Jack Straw Studios. Um, after all the groups finished their interviews, each group had to listen to their audio many times they needed to then pick the best clip they liked. After all groups picked the best clip they liked, they were, they were told to analyze that, that clip and then to then make it into a video. And in case you didn't know, um, some of the audio clips that Jack, that we did make in our uh, interviews were all in Spanish. Uh, the one, the, the uh, audio clip that Jack Straw made previously were uh, always in English. Immigration Portraits. Voices from Denny was produced by eighth graders from Denny International Middle School and Jack Straw Cultural Center in Seattle, Washington. Denny students and staff come from diverse backgrounds and represent many countries. For a special project, Washington State history students interviewed school staff, capturing their immigration stories. For an eighth grade project, the students at Denny International Middle School in Miss Blue's class worked on migration radio stories. Our group talked with Ms. Jia Jin Chen, a math teacher and head of the special education department about her migration story. That wasn't planned because my daughter had a difficult time being at school and I tried really hard to make sure she could improve, but it didn't work. And they brought her to this country and to see whether the physical environment change could make a difference. Ms. Chen explains how the move to America was huge for her and her daughter. She feels strongly that she did the right thing for her family. That was magic. And I'm so glad I made that decision. She said, I got my very first 100. She said, are you happy? That moment when she asked me almost made me cry. That means I definitely was very insensitive to how much she wanted to please me. So since then, I totally very open to suggestion from American teachers. I observe how they interact with my daughter, why she always got so excited. And uh, I started to praise her more often. The move to the U.S. was challenging in new ways for Ms. Chen. She and her daughter experienced the cultural adjustment differently. The first couple of years were struggle. I was a teacher in Taiwan, which means I was a top student. So obviously I had so much confidence in myself. But after coming here, I think I was losing all the self-confidence I had. But ironically, my daughter feels so much self-confidence herself. When Ms. Chen came to America, her outlook and her philosophy at home 
and our school changed drastically. In Taiwan, our educational system doesn't take individual students' needs or strengths into consideration. But after coming to this country, I noticed that the philosophy behind education is different. You will not just pay attention to the score, the grades you get. Instead, the relationship and the interaction with adults and other kids is so crucial because of that develop the social skill. As Ms. Chen worked alongside American teachers, she gained a new, broader perspective on education. Her experience in the school helped her to become a better teacher and mother. In this culture, we pay more attention to individualism, but in my country, everything, your behavior, your value, tend to be group-oriented. It's very rare you will be asked by your parents or teacher, what do you really like to do? But here, I learned to ask myself the question. Then I can take that into consideration when I teach American kids. In her move to the United States, Ms. Chen has experienced major cultural changes and adapted to new ways of thinking. She knows that she has pulled away from her Taiwanese culture. When we asked Ms. Chen what was most difficult about leaving her home, her answer was short but very powerful. You have the fear of forgetting where you are from. Immigration Portraits is a Jack Straw production. This segment was produced by 8th grade students Mickey Dysart, Paradise Vienna, Ty Duren, and Nicole Glass from Denny International Middle School and Jack Straw Cultural Center. Special thanks to Denny teachers Ellen Liu and Jeff Treisman. Interview guest John. So now we're gonna have you guys do a little activity. So once you guys get into um, um, the group that you'll be assigned, you will be assigned a person to interview. Um, and because of time, uh, we already have questions that you would use for your mock interview, I guess. Um, at the end of this workshop, you're going to be trying out some of the things you learned about your interview. Are there any questions? <coughs> about your interview. And then over here we'll have how about right here we'll have uh, Aiden Wagner and Katia Olivia uh, interviewing Alan Kale. I'm really not sure how to say. And then right here we'll have Anna Russell and Kimberly. Oh Right here we'll have Anna Russell and Kimberly Corrigan interview, um, interviewing Isabella Maria Renz. And right here we'll have Noah Maher uh, and Aaron Castillo interviewing Dr. Celeste Renza Guren.